Good, Good morning. morning. We're live. Yay. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Gosh, it's been a while since we've done one of these. When was the last time? I want to think it's back in March. Yeah. It was a while oh, ago. Well, it was before we had the Easter fling, uh, spring fling because we had Victoria Warren and, and Heidi and you and I were on. Oh, that's right. So, yeah, back in the Easter. Now, thank goodness for the nice weather. Yeah, um, beautiful. Yeah, what a lucky. We were so lucky today, tomorrow. It's supposed to be 80s. That's get perfect. out and enjoy. We have a it's, few people joining us, too. So, welcome. Good that's morning. That's wonderful. Good morning, everybody. Yeah. So if you don't know, it's Coffee with Carol and Heather. It's our, it's our, as Frank so eloquently said, our swan song. Is that what that mean? Am I saying that right? Um, our last Coffee with Carol and Heather of the campaign season. And actually for Carol forever, maybe. Yeah. yeah. She's retiring in July, if you didn't know that. So if you are following along, say farewell to Carol. Let her know you're here. Give her a nice little wish and a note. Um, we've got another two months with her. I think she goes in July. So um, she'll be here and you can send your well wishes, but at least it's our last virtual morning. So we're going to cheers and toast to Carol with our coffee this morning. Cheers. Cheers. Cool. Um, I've got my classic United Way mug here, right? And also, well, good morning to Adam Harville. And Jamie Griffiths and Allie Halberstadt, good morning to all good of morning. you. Good morning. Good morning, Adam. Stacy, can you guys see who joins us? I can now. Oh, yeah, I've never seen this before. This is great. Good morning, Stacy and oh. Allie and Jamie and Adam. Here's Kelsey. Pop Hi, Kelsey. Kelsey. Aww, Thanks thank for coming you. on this morning. Well, this is going to be a jam-packed coffee. Um, and we are welcoming the gentlemen in the group, if you didn't realize. Frank Kelly, who is a board Ooh. member of ours. Good morning, Frank. He's with morning, Illinois Heather. Tour. Hi, Carol. Right? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, thanks for joining us on this lovely Friday. Hi, Laura. Welcome. Hi, Laura. Oh, I love all these messages. Uh, I love the messages too. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Oh, Frank, it's so good to see your smiling face. Thanks for joining us this morning. It's great to be here. What a pleasure. This is uh, this this beats work. <laughs> and you know, oh my gosh, wait a minute. I think this is almost apropos that you are on. It's May yeah. 21st. And I mean, I'm just going to say this. I am pretty certain it was May 20th of 2017 when you and I met for the very first time up at Illinois Toolworks up in Hebron. Yeah, you're probably you're right. Kidding. It was in May and it was right around the 20th. I know it yeah. was because Beth Corey had made the call and said, hey, will you come up? and meet us and meet the team. And I was like, absolutely. And it, the whole, just so everybody on the call knows, the whole point behind it was Frank was their new campaign chair for the year. And he was charged with raising the participation rate. And at that time it was like 48%, I think, participation. Yeah, it was and not that the greatest. Year, yeah, but that was still really good for most companies. 50% participation is really mm -hmm. great. And do you remember that year, what you ended up raising the participation rate to? Uh, we got it up to about 75, 80%. I know. That's yeah, what I was we going to say. We were yeah. about at ITW's average across yeah. all of I, ITW. I think it was 78%. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. And then Which I've got some predecessors huge. that have been able to keep that keep that rate and maybe even get it across the 80% line. So they've done some really nice work in, in you know subsequent years, which is great to see. Keep yeah. that uh, momentum going. We then, love your team. Actually, a memory popped up. It had to be this morning that I was there doing something with ITW in Hebron. Um, I don't know what it was. Maybe presenting an award or doing, I don't know, doing something. Um, but it was a cute photo. So. Oh, good. Yeah. No, we've and had the reason great, you're uh, here. We've oh, had sorry. some great leadership jump in yeah. and help out. And like I said, kind of keep that momentum going with uh, increasing donations increasing our volunteerism uh, and, uh, and and increasing participation as well. So we're yeah. really proud to be partners with United Way. For ITW, it goes back something like greater than 50 years. Um, wow. And it's, it's really important to ITW to have United Way as a partner. Uh, we're a very decentralized company. You know, we basically have one, one or two people at our corporate headquarters in Glenview, Illinois, that, uh, that work in community affairs. So by ourselves, we just don't have the reach to get out in the communities and support 
you know, the places where we work and where our people live. And, and so to have a team like Carol and Heather at United Way in greater McHenry County is, is really critical for us to be successful. Oh, that's great. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that, we're done. No, it, just, it, goes, well, it works both ways, Heather. Come on. It's a partnership. <laughs> well, and thanks for joining us because we invited you on today as part of, you guys are a trailblazer sponsor of ours. So yeah. for the entire campaign year of 2020, 2021, which was obviously very interesting um, and unprecedented with COVID, you guys stepped up and said, we will sponsor. And part of the sponsorship perk is to have a virtual uh, meet and greet. And so you're representing the company today too as a board member, but also a sponsor. So we want to say, say thanks so much for your support. It's like Thank a dual you. role, right? Yeah. yeah. Getting it from both yeah. sides. So do you want to talk a little bit about what, what you guys do there? So people who are on, online, we have Heidi and Shelly that joined us as well. Um, what do you guys do so people know? In our facility in, uh, in Hebron, Heather? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So um, ITW uh, is, a, is, a, is a 105 year old company and, and a fair amount of its growth over that, over that time is the mission. And so if I roll the clock back maybe 10 or 12 years ago at this point, we acquired Hired a privately held business called Filter Tech, which is located oh. there in, uh, mm -hmm. in in Hebron, Illinois, on on Price, right right behind the, the elementary school. Yeah. And so um, there's actually two businesses inside that building. Um, there is a medical business where we have clean room manufacturing. Uh, that's the business that I was associated with, Heather. Um, and so that that business manufactures medical components. Uh, mm. that then go into infusion sets and other types of medical devices. Um, so our customers are, are big global med device companies like Becton Dickinson and Bebron and various others um, around the world. And um, so we make, you know, critical devices uh, that, uh, that are used to treat patients. Um, we've seen that business, you know, really increase with the COVID pandemic yeah. over the last, mm, you know, however long it's been going on now. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's very, very meaningful, you know, to be producing products that, uh, you know, that, that can help in some cases save patients' lives. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's another business in the facility that manufactures automotive components. Um, and so both businesses are kind of organized around filtration products, which is where the filter tech name came from. That's awesome. And I, you know, some people, before I worked here, I didn't even realize you guys were right in McHenry County, in the Hebron kind of area, right? Yeah, a um, little bit off the beaten path. Yeah, in a really cool little street, right? Um, We're kind of all by ourselves other than yeah. the elementary school and um, and then maybe that high school or junior high, you know, that's on uh, that's on the main highway there is, is you know, a quarter mile away maybe. And the, yeah, isn't it, the, is it like back. the Dairy Mart or something? Isn't there like a great little ice cream shop? Yes. <laughs> I think there is up the street. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Down, right downtown. Yeah. So most people would know that for sure. <laughs> right. Well, and, and it's the way on the way up to Lake Geneva. So a lot of people drive yeah. right through Hebron, but they don't always know, yeah. you know, how many people. That you're right there. there. You know, yeah, know, exactly. With a population of about 600 people. Right. So small yeah. Community, but you have a lot of employees. So a lot of your employees are from McHenry County, but they also live in Wal Walworth County. And so what's unique when you run your campaign is we see the dollars that are raised aren't just for McHenry County. They're spread out across the, you know, the state maybe, right? Or the region, but yeah. a lot of dollars that are reinvested right north of the border in Walworth County, Wisconsin, which is wonderful. Right, very much. Yeah, we pull from probably from a number of counties, but but for sure across the border in Wisconsin, people are commuting down to the facility. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, in, in my case, not that I was there on an everyday basis, but I was coming up from DuPage County. And there are there are probably a few people that do come from, you know, maybe the O'Hare area. So that would be kind of Cook County. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, they're they're from all over. Yeah, and so I know you touched on it a little bit, but you know, why United Way for ITW? Like, um, you know, what's your messaging to your employees, and like, why did you choose United Way, or why are we? Um, do you think integral in your giving program? Yeah, I, 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 like I said, Heather, it, it really does go back 50 plus years. Um, and so, you know, ITW takes, um, it takes its responsibilities as a good corporate citizen very seriously. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and that I think that ties to the history that we've had, you know, being in business for 105 plus years and being a very decentralized company. We, I think, recognize that it's, it's not easy with a very small community affairs team to, to do it the right way. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so we really strongly rely on that relationship with United Way uh, to, to help us. And yeah. uh, they are the uh, United Way is the number one philanthropic partner, you know, by, by which we are able to uh, um, donate, you know, financial assistance, uh, pledge money, mm-hmm. uh, provide for volunteerism and, um, and, uh, and do the right thing by, uh, you know, the communities where we, uh, where we work and live. We're so grateful. Well, and speaking of volunteerism, you guys were instrumental. That meeting that day, you asked very specifically about what could you do for us as a United Way um, you know, leader to help inspire volunteerism in McHenry County so that the staff in, at that facility could actually get out and volunteer directly in the communities that make up McHenry County. And so we took that very seriously and, and we came up with our day of caring projects and your team adopted several projects and went out in the fall. And we had a huge article, like we were so blessed. And I remember. Harold and Shaw yeah. Media has been so supportive of our United Way over the years. And they picked yeah. up a story and it was like, you know, these things happen. We don't even understand it, but I, somebody was at our annual dinner and or at our kickoff maybe in the fall and i said hey could you do a story on this like tomorrow this team is going out to do these activities and they said we'll be there we'll get somebody out they'll take pictures and they'll write the story and they did and it was a big story um yeah. in fact we should share that link and just reshare that story on social media because oh it's God. really really inspirational what you guys did. And Frank, you know, it really speaks to ITW as a company, their social responsibility, but also you as a leader, you know, that you helped influence um, our team and realize we could do more. And I was very new at that time. So it was like, I was all about whatever we could do to support the companies that were supporting the the United Way and most importantly, supporting the community. So that had a tremendous ripple effect. And we called on you to speak at our campaign kickoff that fall. And you did a fabulous job, which inspired other community leaders to really up yeah, their game. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's really important. I mean, I think I'm, I feel very fortunate to be in the position I'm in and I feel great when I'm able to give back uh, in a meaningful way. And I think we have a lot of employees, uh, you know, across ITW that feel the same way. And so what's, what's neat about ITW is that, you know, while it is decentralized, it's come up with some really creative programs that that help motivate uh, its employees do the right thing. Um, mm-hmm. You know, when we do our United Way campaign through the summer into the early part of the fall, our our employees are have lots of options in terms of where they can allocate their you know their charitable giving to. Um, you know, we don't require that it be one agency. We we let them choose you know a cause that's important to them. You know, whether that's childcare, um, you know, housing. Uh, pet care, whatever it might be. Um, we also do those days of giving. Uh, mm-hmm. We have a we have an annual event uh, that'll come up later this summer, where our former CEO David Spear um, worked with the city of Chicago and opened a magnet school uh, down on the south side of Chicago. And wow. we will have hundreds of ITW employees go down for a day, uh, where we'll work with the community and the David Spear Academy, and um, you know clean up the, the local neighborhood, do some, you know, plant trees and shrubs and, you know, do different types of things, uh, you know, to, to spruce up that, uh, that, that neighborhood. Um, and then, awesome. uh, like I said, yeah, the days of giving are another way of, of, of giving back. And then there's additional, um, you know, financial contributions that we can make. Uh, and there's a three for one match program. And that's probably something Love I that. talked about in that kickoff event. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. ITW really, you know, they, uh, they, they step up in many ways and, um, you know, they're, uh, they're, they're very, uh, active in giving back. Love it. Put their, well, money, thank you. put their money where their mouth is, let's say. Yeah. 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 Well, thanks so Carol, much. Oh, go ahead, Carol. You want to I was say just going to say they, they really truly care about the communities, um, across, you know, the States and the country and really make the commitment to invest you know, investing financially, yeah. but investing in their people, 
who are ultimately making gifts and investing with a corporate gift. And now this, obviously the sponsorship opportunity, which is why you're on today is as a trailblazer sponsor, we really want to acknowledge those who have made a commitment to support United Way beyond um, some of the traditional ways. And so our annual sponsorship program has become really important um, for us and uh, we're grateful. So thank you. It's my pleasure. Yeah. And I will just want to shout out really quickly um, all of our sponsors again. So it's a wonderfully longer list, but I'd love to be able to showcase some of the companies and just share with whoever's watching today. It looks like Georgia Majors, who's also on our board, sends well wishes, Carol. So that's so Thank sweet. you, Georgia. Yeah. Um, so I will start off with our $5,000 Trailblazer sponsors. Um, definitely ITW, Break Parts, Northwestern Medicine. Werner Co. and Charter Durabar, all um, hanging out in McHenry County. And then we have our game changers at the $2,500 level. And that would be the Peters family. Thank you, Carol. Um, welcome. Advia Credit Union, BMO Harris Bank, love them. ATEC Ambulance, the Finzel family, Steve Finzel and his family, American Community Bank and Trust, Crystal Lake Bank and Trust, Clearwater Capital Partners, Corporate Disc Company, our neighbor, True Value, and then Aviant, which was nice. formerly Poly One, if you didn't know. And then hand raiser sponsors at a thousand dollar level. We have Caldwell Consulting Group, Kemper Valve and Fittings Corp, Prairie Community Bank, Baxter Credit Union, Hammer Tree Financial Services, First National Bank of Omaha, um, Elizabeth or Beth Vonow community member, Zank Cohen Wright and Saladin, Service Printing Corp, First Midwest Bank, and Peterson Seal Coating and Painting. Wonderful. So all of those amazing sponsors yes. um, I've gotten to work with this year, and we are so grateful and appreciative for all you've done. And if you're interested in sponsoring for our next campaign season, be on the lookout for that. We'll have some new fun perks, and hopefully we'll be able to be back in person a little bit to celebrate together those kind of fun events that we normally do and honor sponsors. So wanted to say thanks for, to that. and then. Um, well, just very briefly, you know, as we said earlier, it is Carol's final coffee with Carol and Heather of the campaign season. And if you don't know, our campaign season runs typically around August, September until June. Um, and so this was our last coffee scheduled. And we just thought we would say farewell to Carol and kind of give you an update. She's leaving or retiring from our United Way at the end of July. So we will definitely have her for a few more uh, months, but uh, we wanted to give everybody the opportunity in the comments to say farewell or congratulations, and we thought it would be fun. If we each shared a fun little memory, real brief, um, as we close out our last coffee. So I, Carol, do you wanna go first or do you want me to go first? I can go first, that's okay. fine. So I wanna say thanks. I see some more people have joined. Jamie's on, Jamie Maravich and and Heidi said, thanks to all the amazing sponsors. And Adam Harville, thanks for your words as well. I will miss our Chipotle lunches as well. Oh, we yum. To, yeah, we used to meet every year and have lunch and then talk about the campaign at Crystal Lake Bank and Trust. So, well, I have a couple memories. So first of all, my mug today, if you can see on here, is my, my son and his wife. And so today is my husband's birthday. And today is also the day three years ago that my son left to go to the army. So when I think about memories and like walking down memory lane with Frank and ITW and how that was my first meeting was like four years ago today and three years ago today, my son left for the army. And I think about the United Way and my experience. The one thing that I think is my favorite memory is all the fun that we had, all the laughter and joy that you brought into my life. And specifically, Heather, Regina, and Heidi, as a small team, you get to be close to these people. Mm -hmm. And when I first started, we had our finance person was Carrie Holtz, and then it was Heather and myself. Mm -hmm. And Carrie was considered like a half-time employee, although I'm sure she was working full-time hours. And it was really Heather and I. And so we were, mm -hmm. a lot of people called us a dynamic duo. Yeah. And what people saw was genuine and laughter and fun and games and silliness. And this was just 
that's what filled me up every day was coming to work and knowing I had a great team to work alongside and people that I truly could just enjoy and be myself. And so, you know, again, just in being an authentic leader and having fun, it was really so important to me. And then meeting people like Frank and other board members, Georgia, and all the other folks, Steve Finzel, and, and the people who have just brought continuous joy into my life. I mean, that's what it's about. And then all the donors and the volunteers and the agency directors, it's like, gosh, you can't, you can't take away those moments of joy. And so it's the little ones, right? It doesn't have to be these big momentous events that we did, but these moments when you meet people um, and through this relationship of the United Way. So, and all of the people that are on today, um, Shelly from Baxter and Woodman and, mm -hmm. you know, Jamie from the chamber and Laura Patera from ATAC and Jamie Maravich, when we met at BMO Harris Bank for the first time, it's like these relationships, Kelsey Podgorski, when she first started at Volunteer Center, it's like all of you have brought joy into my life. And so for that, I'm just so grateful. Yeah, I would say, I've been saying lately that we're in the business really of relationships. Yeah. And we've gotten the opportunity together to form relationships with so many wonderful people. And I know the outpouring is they'll truly miss you. Um, and I think it's also the same for me, those little memories that add up to a lot mm -hmm. of wonderful things. And I've said, this is the best job I've ever had um, because it's very fun. It's important work, but it's fun. And we enjoy doing what we do. And, um, you know, and I will say one of the big memories, which I know a lot of the people will remember is our Live United, the Tonight Show with United Way event yeah. was a lot of work and we had so much fun with it. And I really felt like, and I don't care what anybody says, we knocked it out of the park. And I left that <laughs> night feeling so great because we were just having yeah. fun. And I think people felt that and there was a lot of laughs and it's just stuff like that. Like Carol is up for anything, no matter what. If I was to be like, can you go out in your gold pants and stand at the side of the road or, you know, go and do a polar plunge. She would do it. Dye your hair purple if we raise a certain amount of money. Like she would be like, okay, we'll do it. So yep. you have a um, real knack for relationships and um, for the cause. So I'm grateful and I know our whole team is. And I don't know, Frank, if you want to add one more thing too um, or anything yeah, to that. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll key in and you're up for anything. Yeah. Up, you know, so. Uh, Carol and I met, like she was saying, when we, when I first jumped on the call that, you know, we met about four years ago, kind of right around this time of the year because of ITW's campaign timing. And so I, I, we got together, got to know each other at our facility in Hebron with a few others that have been, you know, longtime supporters, you know, for that local facility in, um, you know, in, in driving our, our campaign. And, uh, you know, Carol has so much enthusiasm one of the challenges that I knew we had related to, you know, the folks out on the manufacturing floor where I think maybe the culture hadn't been as good in talking mm -hmm. about charitable giving and why it's important and that it's a responsibility. And so, uh, you know, we're, we're talking back and forth and, you know, Carol, we do these shift meetings and we'd love you to come in for a shift meeting yeah. and, and, you know, maybe speak about, you know, what, what you're doing and, you know, maybe we bring in somebody from an agency as well and, Carol's like, I'm, I'm on it. When is it? And I looked at our operations director. I'm like, when's our next, when's our next I shift remember meeting? this. And he's like, it's like in two days at 530 in the morning. And Carol's <laughs> I like, remember that. I'll, I'll be there. Right. I mean, there was no question about, you know, getting up early. And, and it wasn't that Carol and Heather, you probably showed up at a couple too. It wasn't like we just had probably you at not. one. <laughs> I mean, we had you at like several that year yep. and then in ongoing years. Right. It's like, here comes Carol again. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, you know, honestly, you know, United Way, Heidi, Heather, Carol, and, and even probably some others are like, you know, regular, you know, familiar faces yeah. Yeah. Uh, to the, to the Hebron team, uh, not just Beth, Corey and, and Bonnie and Frank, but yep. you know, yeah. people out on the floor that have been seeing you for years now. Yeah. And, and that's, that's part, that's part of why we're, we continue to be successful with our, with our campaign and keep those numbers mm -hmm. moving in the right direction. Yeah. Really meaningful. That's a fun memory. I love, you know, the best part about me is I'm an early riser. I was so just like, going to say I, that. I can get up early. Now I have a kind of a limit. I don't really want to be up at three 30, but um, <laughs> I would be willing to get up at like three 45, be up and out the door and, and wherever I need to be. And that first time going to Hebron, 
for that shift meeting early morning, I remember I got up and there was a forecast of severe thunderstorms. And I started driving from Marengo to Hebron and the skies got darker as I got closer to Hebron. And I literally parked my car, ran inside the building and it just torrential rain. And whoever was <laughs> meeting me wasn't there yet. They were like 15 minutes behind me and they had to walk in the rain. And I was oh. like, I didn't want to show up to that first meeting and be totally drenched because back then I was a little more worried about how I looked. And so um, I do remember that for sure. And you guys, you kind of set the expectation for me, like whatever you needed, I was willing to do because I said, this is what we have to do to be successful. And I think I remember as well, hearing you loud and clear. So speaking about like the team and our investment in these organizations that we go and talk to, you know, your manufacturing employees and being present, you wanted us to be the face of the United Way. I am the face of the United Way, right? Heather's the face, like we are the people. And board members had often volunteered to go do shift meetings, but no one really recognized them because they weren't as entrenched in the work as we are as the staff. And so it was really important to ITW that you consistently had the same people. And we started doing those meetings actually in July that year. So by the time we got to September, it wasn't just Carol opening up her hand and saying, you know, please invest money. It was talking about the good work. And that was the right. year, I believe, we, we came in with an award and we said, we're going to roll out the red carpet and honor your team and acknowledge them, right? And yeah. they felt really good about the work that they had done, that they had made a big impact. And then right. in return, when we came back again and talked about raising dollars, they were even more generous, which I think helped with that exponential growth and participation. Yeah, so. it, 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 really, it really reinforces the power of third party testimonials, because I recall, Carol, one year, maybe that same year, or maybe yeah. it was 20, 2019 uh, or 18, uh, where you brought a, a mother and son in from the House of Sparrow, oh, I think it was. Yeah, Home of the Sparrow. Right? Mm -hmm. And instead of Frank and Carol talking so much on that particular event, and I'm sorry not to remember their names, but that that yeah. amazing, you know, mother son. Yeah. Uh, and and I think the son was like 14 years old. I mean, they got up in front of a 50 or 60 strangers, yeah. and they talked about how directly impacted they were by donations. Right. And, 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 and the charitable giving that people in our building and, and others throughout McHenry County, mm -hmm. you know, allowed them to, you know, to, to improve their, you know, their way of life. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, those are the types of things that really hit home to people. And, you know, mm -hmm. so instead of senior management, you know, kind of cracking the whip on you got to do this because it's important. It was mm -hmm. look, look at what it's doing in terms of the impact in the local community. Mm hmm. Yeah, so Matt Kostecki is on and he's with Home of the Sparrow and the client that was served and she's been very public about her support that she received. She spoke at our kickoff that year with her son as well, was Patty Latsky and her yeah. son Riley. Yeah. And ironically, the, that day, Patty was going to come back and speak at all three shift meetings and one, one of them she couldn't come back to because she got called into work. Yeah. So he, he came back and he spoke. By and himself. Then he, brought, he brought his guitar, which he had gotten... He took guitar lessons through Free Guitars for Future Stars, which Scott Newman runs as a nonprofit, and they ran those programs up at home at the Sparrow, and he took advantage of that, which is how he started playing the guitar. And he played a song at the end of this presentation. We were all like, oh, this is going to make us all cry. Right. It was amazing. And I still run into them. Do you? Uh, uh, yes. And I still oh, yeah, wow. you ran into them in the store once. I remember yeah, Riley, you thinking Riley, yeah. Riley was working yeah. at um, Walmart in Woodstock. And every once in a while, I still see him there. And I'll be like, hey. And he's like, United <laughs> Way. I w it would be so fun to see him because that, like, I'm sure he's so grown up. Oh, yeah. He's super grown up now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, probably in his you speaking know, of graduations and all those things that we're all doing now, right? Yeah, he's probably almost 20. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. So that god. was a really great testimonial as far as clients served and a path, you know, a, a journey that someone walked, a woman with children who was homeless and needed help and support. And um, they benefited greatly. And she's a great advocate um, in the community, a great advocate for Home of the Sparrow. So that's yeah. wonderful. Great, great story. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Well, that's a great way to to end it. Um, and it wouldn't be a coffee with Carol and Heather if it was because it's fundraising Friday. So um, in honor of Carol's farewell and our friend Frank here, if you are so inclined to give a final donation this year, whether you've given 
before and you want to give an extra five bucks because it's payday or if you haven't donated yet this year and you're inclined to all you have to do is text the word fundraising friday to the number four four three two one and um it's very easy you just click right on your mobile device um, or you can go to our website if you're not a text to give person but feel free to give us a donation for this last fundraising friday push that we got going on and then we'll announce our grants pretty soon here in the month of june i believe right carol so yep. um, we just went through that allocations process and we're finalizing everything so we'll be able to share um all the good work and how we're investing those dollars in McHenry county um in the next year to come so um would love it if you are interested in supporting so um, last minute, well, this video will play and be on Facebook forever. We'll put it on our YouTube. So if you have anything fun to share with Frank or Carol, um, definitely write in the comments and they'll see it and read it. And we appreciate everybody. It's been so fun doing these coffees. It's been um, just kind of a different thing in our daily work life. And we've had a great time and we've had some funny stories from it alone. So. Thank you to everyone who watches and hopefully next campaign season you'll see us again maybe with a brand new person um stay tuned on that right right thanks Jesus, phil yeah thank you thank yeah. you well, i love all the comments thanks Frank. <laughs> so grateful for you to join today and share all your stories and memories and heather of course it's always a blessing to work with you and to everyone who joined today i see some other names in there donna pace thanks for joining today as well so you guys have a great weekend and, and a quick Congratulations to Frank and his daughter is graduating today from Yay. high school, heading off yeah. to Marquette in the fall, which is wonderful. And we wish you and your family the best today as you go through that experience. A Thanks bit of so emotion, much. a bit of emotion, there right? There will be a little, yeah. 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 Irish is going to come out of me about uh, 4.30 this afternoon. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> and you have a beautiful Girl, happy day Happy birthday to your it. husband, too. Yeah. Happy birthday to JD. It's all kinds Thank of reasons you. to yes. celebrate, right? Oh my yeah. gosh. Well, and my, my older sons are home this week to celebrate with him. So there's a lot of joy going on in the world. Nice. So that's great. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Well, thank you guys. Thank you. Um, thank you, Frank, very much. And thanks to ITW for being a sponsor. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. We're, we wish we're you a great help. summer. Yeah. Take care, everybody. So Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a great Friday. Bye-bye.